Hey guys, this is Chef Billy Parisi with The Inspired Home, and today I'm going to show you how to make a classic bouffe bourguignon, or better known as a beef burgundy, which is a really delicious stew. The first thing we want to do is prep up all of our food so that all we need to do is cook. We're going to peel up some carrots. I'm using a micro plane peeler. It makes it really easy to peel the carrots. We're next gonna remove the ends and then slice it in half long ways. And then we're gonna take about one inch slices into the carrots so that it can stand up to the two hour cooking time in the slow cooker and they won't be mushy. The next thing we're gonna do is prep up a yellow onion. So go ahead and remove the ends, take off that outer peeling and discard it. And what we want to do at this point is slice it in half and then we want to thinly slice it just think of a julienne maybe about a quarter of an inch thick and what we're going to do is add it right to that bowl with our prepared carrots next we've got some garlic cloves and what we're going to do is just remove the ends and then using the back of the knife sort of give it a little smash this will help in the mincing process to sort of break it up so once the ends are removed and the garlic is smashed, go ahead and finely mince it. And once it is to your desired consistency, we're gonna add it right to that bowl with our prepped onions and sliced carrots. Next, we've got a two pound chuck roast, maybe a little bit more than that. You wanna take the time to remove some of the fat and especially some of the silver skin as that can be really tough in cooking our beef stew. So what we want to do next is cut it down to one inch squares. It is okay to leave some fat on that is going to provide some flavor, but obviously be mindful that you don't want this to be too fatty. Go ahead and set that to the side. And the next thing we're going to do is just give our hands a little rinse. Well, because we've touched raw beef and we need this cutting board again. So give that knife a really good scrub and that cutting board a nice good scrub. We're going to dry it off and return to our station where we're going to begin cooking. So I'm using the crock pot slow cooker and it's amazing because it has wonderful features like bake and steam. We're going to set it to brown and sear first so we can cook off our bacon. What we want to do is crisp up that bacon so that the lardons become nice and golden brown. It probably takes in between three and six minutes. The next thing we want to do is simply set it to the side because we're going to add it back in later once we get our liquid into the slow cooker. So take your time to get every little crispy bacon lard in that you can, set it to the side, and the next thing we're going to do is add the beef into the slow cooker. I love these Cuisa Pro tongs. They've got this great little latch on the back that you can kind of pull or push to help tighten them up and bring them together. It makes it perfect for fitting in the drawer. So while our beef is searing brown, we're gonna season it up with salt and pepper and be sure to take the time to get a really nice sear on this beef. It's just gonna to add to the flavor in our final recipe. So once it is nice and brown, just move it around a little bit, try to get as many sides brown as possible. We're next gonna set that to the side on a plate. And what we wanna do next is add in the sliced onion, garlic, and carrots because those next need to brown just like the beef. So after a few minutes of them caramelizing up, as you can see, we're gonna give it a little bit of a stir to make sure it browns on all sides. We're gonna add in our delicious seared beef chuck roast pieces, and we're gonna give that a little stir. We've got some flour we're gonna sprinkle in there because we wanna almost create a roux so that our beef bourguignon is nice and thick when we go to serve it up. So go ahead and mix the flour in until it's completely incorporated and now it's time to add in our liquid. So I've got a delicious Cote de Rhone. You could use a Pinot Noir. I'm going to fill up a very large glass because I've got a really unique trick. The Peugeot Clef de Vin is a awesome little metal tool that's got some copper in it and it helps age the wine every second in it ages it for one year so imagine how robust this wine flavor will be go ahead and pour it right into our slow cooker and i always say your wine better be good enough to drink so that it's good enough to cook with so while i enjoy a glass of wine i'm going to add in some beef stock 
make sure it's really nice and flavorful. Followed up by adding in some tomato paste, which is going to help add some great deep red color to our beef bourguignon, as well as make it a little bit thick. We're going to add in our crispy bacon and some herbs, some parsley and thyme. Season it very well with salt and pepper. And what we want to do at this point is add the top onto our crock pot and we're going to slow cook it on high for about two to two and a half hours. So go ahead and enjoy that glass of wine. And with about 30 minutes left in the cooking process, we're going to add a very large saute pan to high heat with a bit of unsalted butter. Wait until it's completely melted before adding in some sliced button mushrooms. You want to caramelize those up. Take the time to get these mushrooms brown. The flavor will be very intense and absolutely delicious in this dish. So once they do become a really nice golden brown, at this point we're going to add in some pearl onions. You can use fresh or frozen. We also want to take the time to brown these up because caramelized onions just give off such a delicious flavor. So give those a couple tosses around in the pan. And the next thing we're going to do is simply add it right to our slow cooker. And at this time, everything should be done. So first remove those herbs. Add the roasted mushrooms and onions right to that crock pot. We're going to come back and just give it a quick little stir. Make sure everything is completely mixed in. The smells are amazing at this point. We're going to plate it up two ways. The first way, I've got some cooked pappardelle pasta. We're simply going to add some of that delicious beef bourguignon right to the side of it. It smells and looks so good at this stage. You're absolutely going to love it. And the next one, we're simply going to serve up with some sliced sourdough. And we finish off our beef bourguignon with some finely minced parsley and thyme. This recipe is absolutely incredible. So classic, so traditional. And you're looking at about three hours from start to finish. What an amazing meal to set up for friends, family, you name it. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And for more great recipes, visit theinspiredhome.com.